Hi everyone! For those of you who are visiting my channel for the first time, I'm Mika Kim and I used to be a consultant at one of the big four consulting firms. Last time I created a video about why consulting might not be a good fit for you and many of you have asked me to create a follow-up video describing the pros of consulting. One quick note, everyone's experience will differ, so don't take this as an absolute rule but take it as more of like an insight from one ex-consultant's point of view. Really, without further ado, let's dive right in. Number one, network growth. As you may know, in consulting, you will end up working on multiple projects with different managers, different team members, and different clients, which means you will meet ton of new people. If you think of a traditional industry job, you end up staying on the same team with the same boss and while working with mostly a similar group of people. But in consulting, your environment will constantly change. Projects can span from as short as one week to as long as several years. So obviously this experience will differ per person, but personally for me, most projects lasted about a couple of months. So during my two years at Deloitte, I worked on about 10 different projects. And through those projects, I have met so many different people and they ended up all being connections at the end of the day. Consulting for me really helped me grow my professional network. I'm the type of person that has a very hard time going to networking events or making small chat with different people, but being in consulting kind of helped me push out that boundary more because organically I was in different projects and meeting different people and that really helped me grow my network. Number two, diverse learning opportunities. As I was mentioning, in consulting, you'll be working on a variety of different projects. So you get to experience many industries and get a taste of how other companies operate. I've worked with the financial sector, higher education, oil and gas, insurance, government bodies, retailers, and etc. Et Therefore, I got exposed to different industries, which I would never have been able to get that experience otherwise. Where else would I have had an opportunity to work in an oil and gas company without committing to it full time? In addition to various industry exposure, you get a sneak peek into these different companies and their work culture. Therefore, this helped me broaden my perspective a little bit more, which I thought was awesome because it really helped me make that decision of what field I wanted to be in after I exited consulting. Let's talk a bit more about the learnings you get from the day-to-day -day work you do. I've worked on projects where I was in a strategy role for a client that was going through an acquisition. I've also been on projects as a functional BA and eventually moved on to take on more technical and engineering roles because that aligned a bit more to my interest after trying out all these different roles. I even had a project I remember being a scrum master. So this was great because I got to try out all these different positions and finally came to the realization that I wanted to become a software engineer full time. So I think consulting is really good if you don't really know what you want to do. So think of it as a beer sampler where you get to try out different projects, industries, roles in smaller quantities. But like I said, your mileage may vary. I have also seen colleagues that have worked on engagements that span multiple years and so they ended up working with the same client on the same role for the whole duration of their time in consulting. Therefore, I personally feel that if you want to get the best experience out of consulting, you should try to put yourself on different projects. Now you have to play the politics and the strategies right to be on projects that you are interested in and that you want to grow in. I think that's a video for next time because I think it's going to get super long if I go into the nitty gritty details of it, but let me know if you're interested um, in the comments below. All right, number three, exit strategy. I have seen consultants leave for all sorts of different roles and different companies. Like I mentioned, since you get to acquire knowledge and experience in different industries as well as different roles, all of these like small experiences that you accumulate ends up becoming a door on its own when you decide to leave consulting. In addition, I've also seen colleagues get scouted by clients that they have worked with, generally with a hefty pay bump and sometimes a promotion, which is another way of exiting that works out really nicely since you already have that report with your next workplace. Like for instance, I have heard of stories where um, someone that was just a consultant like a consultant level, get an offer from one of the clients that loved working with her because she was just so awesome at her job as like a manager and they were offering her a ton of money. So if I bring this back to my personal experience, despite consultants moving into a software engineer role not being as common as consultants moving into different roles, when I was interviewing with various tech companies, they were still very, very curious and interested in hearing about my experience being in consulting. 
And some of the interviewers thought it was a plus point that I got exposure to multiple companies and acknowledged my work ethic. Which leads us into our next topic, which is number four, work ethic. As I have described in my previous video about why consulting might not be a good fit for you, during my time in consulting, work-life balance was pretty much non-existent. There is definitely the grinding culture where you're expected to work long, long, long hours and working during weekends and holidays was quite common as well. Now, that really sucked, but it did give me a great work ethic. I learned ways to effectively manage my time and juggle multiple work at once. And also, while you're in consulting, you are constantly surrounded by the so-called type A personalities. I learned to push myself out of my comfort zone and strive to be better. Now, obviously, I could not sustain a lifestyle like that, which is why I left. But now at my current company, if I ever run into a situation where I have a ton of work I need to manage, I'm able to handle time pressure and stress much better than I used to back when I just started out my career. How I kind of see it is like throwing myself into like a shock situation where I've been under so much stress and so much pressure being in consulting and how that was so common throughout my career there. Now, if anything else comes at me, it feels almost like a breeze. So all in all, if I have a day at my current company where I feel overwhelmed, I get into that mindset where I think back to my time in consulting and get kind of like reassurance, like, Piece from that because what I'm going through right now is nothing compared to what I've been through in consulting. Okay, and the last point, number five, I just wanted to hit on some miscellaneous perks or miscellaneous benefits while you're working in consulting. So this is obviously a topic that I cannot end this video without talking about, which is traveling. So for those of you who have seen consulting memes or House of Lies or see how consultants are portrayed, you'll see consultants traveling a lot to their client sites, which gives the impression that as a consultant, you'll be on a ton of business trips and you will be traveling to different areas all the time. Now, this will be very, very, very different for every individual. Like I mentioned in my video earlier, you may end up staying on a non-travel project for a long time. And in this case, you don't really get to experience that traveling culture. I feel like traveling is one of the flashy allures of consulting, but it's definitely not a guaranteed perk. Just because you're in consulting doesn't mean that you'll always be on a travel project or you may end up being on a local project that spans over a couple of years. Another thing is you may end up traveling to the middle of nowhere in which case you may have to stay in a dingy hotel with no good food places to eat for the duration of the project. So it's definitely not all bells and whistles, despite how it's portrayed. I feel like I'm going into the cons again and not the pros, but yes, it is true that if you get slotted into a travel project, you get to fly out to a client site, stay in nice hotels, and eat on the company dime. And kind of like a nice side effect of that is you get to rack mileages and hotel points really quickly, which then later you can spend during your personal trips. All right, moving on to the next point. So this is more applicable for bigger consulting firms, but for new grads or, or folks who are early in their career, you get to work at a company with batches of new grads that are of similar age to you. So how is this a benefit? I noticed that it's pretty uncommon for companies or jobs to hire batches of people every year straight out of college. So for instance, when I used to work back at Deloitte, all the new grad hires would start around September-ish. And I think we had around like maybe 100 to 200 people hired nationally. So it kind of almost feels like another you know, like freshman year at college where you get to have like a group of people that are of similar age as you, kind of at the same stages of their life. Everyone is starting out new and consulting. So it's really easy to make friends at work. When I'm looking back to when I started, I met a group of friends during our orientation week and we're still really good friends to this day. We hang out outside of work. We all keep in touch. One of the best outcomes that I have from working in consulting is actually the people I met and the friends that I made there. Because having a group of friends at work where you can vent together about things that happen at work, meme together during the long work hours, made things much more bearable and fun. The next miscellaneous benefit is the work hard, party hard mentality. So I know that this may not be a pro for everyone, but if you do like the work hard, party hard culture, 
then consulting is the right place for you. I've never seen a company spend so much money on parties and socializing. I had an instance where I was at a company-sponsored end of project party where partners were passing out champagnes that were worth like a thousand dollar per bottle. Fancy lunch and dinners with clients or your team is pretty common. And you can expect almost all of the company sponsored events to be open bar. And I can't forget to add this in. There are a lot of networking sessions, which oftentimes end up becoming like a drinking party, especially if you're going out to these like round two, round threes with partners or senior managers, it ends up being covered under the company. So to sum this up, whenever someone asks me, do you regret going into consulting? I say no. And I like this analogy of being in consulting is kind of like playing a video game on hard mode, but also getting double the experience points. When I was in the last year of my college, I had no idea what I wanted to do after graduating. I floated the idea of maybe going into a project manager role or a business analyst role, but also at the same time, I wanted to be technical and my thoughts were just all over the place. But consulting provided me the opportunity to try everything out. For instance, if I dived straight into a dev role right after college, I wouldn't have been able to try out a project manager role or a strategy role. And perhaps that self-questioning of maybe I should have tried something else after graduating may have bothered me throughout the rest of my career. So personally, as much as I hated the grindy hours, I am so glad that I started out my career in consulting. So thank you so much for watching till the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.